I think we should have a law at the federal level that would say after 15 weeks, no abortion on demand, and that should be where America's at. The senator's proposal would keep in place the most extreme, the most extreme state level abortion bans that ban all abortions. It is an extreme piece of legislation and it is in line from what we are seeing uh, from Republicans on these extreme uh, ad agendas that is not in line, that is not in line with majority uh, of Americans. So right after the repeal of Roe v. Wade, my Democratic colleagues introduced legislation in Washington to create a national standard. My legislation, our legislation, is a counter to their proposal. I hope we get to debate on it and vote on it. Uh, they had a chance to vote on their bill. I'm asking for a chance to vote on my bill, and I'm hoping that the more we talk about this issue and what we're trying to accomplish at the federal level, we can rally the public nationally. It's wildly out of step with where the majority of Americans are. Today, while President Biden and Vice President Harris are focused on the historic passage of the Inflation Reduction Act and taking action to reduce the cost of prescription drugs, health care, and energy, and unprecedented action to address climate change as well, Republicans in Congress are focused on taking rights away from millions, millions of women across the country. While we are fighting for progress, they are fighting to take us back. President Biden and congressional Democrats are committed to restoring the protections of Roe, and they are committed to doing so in the face of continued radical steps by elected Republicans to put personal health care decisions in the hands of politicians instead of women and their doctors, which threatens women's health and their lives. That's what at stake, that's what's at stake right now in this country, and the American people need to use their voices. I'm going to quote uh, Lindsey Graham from August 7th, uh, 2022, and he said, I think states should decide the issue of marriage and states should decide the issue of abortion. I have respect for South Carolina. South Carolina voters here, I trust, to define marriage and to deal with the issue of abortion. That's from his own, uh, his own mouth. After they introduced the bill to define who they are, I thought it'd be nice to introduce a bill to define who we are. So the Democrats wanted a national standard, and their standard was basically abortion up to the time of birth, putting you in the Iran-Syria club. <clears throat> so now we're going to talk about what the nation should be like I've introduced this bill, and I'm ready to uh, debate it and vote on it. You have states have the ability to do it at the state level, and we have the ability in Washington to speak on this issue if we choose. I have chosen to speak.